What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Jeff Jenkins from Jeff Jenkins Photography. Um, if you haven't seen my work before, I welcome you to go check out Instagram at Jeff Jenkins Photography, all one word. Uh, those that do know me know that I primarily shoot cosplay and creative portraiture. And today I'm going to go over something that I've dealt with a lot and anyone that has ever shot cosplay with external flash, you've also dealt with it too. So, you know you've got a Star Wars cos cosplayer and they have a lightsaber. Now, of course, I'm just using my RGB light bar. But, if you're standing there, you got external flash, this is what you end up with in the post. So, going in to Photoshop and making the edit so that it actually looks like a lightsaber is a process. And I had to do some digging myself to find that answer a while back and today. I'd like to show you how to do it, except we're not going to do a lightsaber. No, we're going to add the lighting effects and the glowing eyes in Blue Beetle. So let's jump right in. So here we go. We got my boy Raul, that's at Crispy Cosplay on Instagram, in his epic Blue Beetle armor set and helmet. And it's, it's, it was so amazing to see in person. So, but we got these lights around the body. We got the glowing eyes that need to be lit up. Well, my flash knocks all of it out. So, we're gonna dive in here. We got the shoulder piece here. Using the pen tool, we wanna, what we wanna do is trace it out. And I'm gonna speed up a little bit so you don't have to watch me draw dots. But using the pen tool, we're gonna trace it all the way out. We're gonna close it. We're gonna right click, make it a selection. And you'll see this is on another layer than the background. It's a separate layer for this. We're gonna do three pixels. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill that selection with white. There you go. So, speeding it up here, go through we'll hit the rest of the uh, sections on here that need to be lit up. Same thing, same layer, so that way all the adjustments that I do to that layer affect all of the lighting. So I'll turn it off and on a couple times to make sure I got all of those. Now we'll do the go ahead and do the chest piece. Same thing, pen tool, we're going to dive in here and we're going to trace this whole thing out. So you want to make sure you hit those curves so that you get the nice little angled pieces um, though you don't have to worry about too much don't have to be too uh, particular on those edges because we're gonna blur everything anyway so but same thing make it a selection three pixels and fill with white okay so now you can see there I'll turn it off on off on and uh, now what we're gonna do is on Mac it's gonna be Command J, I believe it's Control J on Windows, to make seven copies of that layer. Now that the visibility is back on, you can see it. <laughs> so those seven layers, we're going to do a Gaussian blur on each. First number is 288. Second number is 144. And go ahead and write these numbers down so you can refer to them later. Uh, so 288, 144, 90. Next layer, we're going to do 45, and then 20, and then 10, 5, and 2.5. Now the reason for that is that we're staggering them so you get that nice glow effect uh, coming off the blur, off that white in there, uh, by staggering them like that. So, but then what we're going to do is we're going to select the seven copies that we made and merge all of those into one layer. We're going to go up to image and hue saturation. And then in this window, I've got a preset made, but go ahead and pause the video on this so you can see my settings um, and make sure you check that box for colorize. Otherwise it won't work correctly. So then all I'm going to do is just change our blending option to screen and voila looks epic. Uh, next step is we're going to do our eyes. So we're going to jump in there using the pen tool. Same thing. Trace out the eyes, make a selection, fill with white and make our seven copies. And same numbers again, 288, 144, 90, 45, 20, 10, 5, 2.5. 
merge all of those and hue saturation same thing I've got a preset made so you might want to pause it right about here here's those settings for the eyes and color your eyes is checked hit OK and change our blending option to screen there we go So as you can see from that before and after, uh, it's a huge difference made. Um, now, I mean, the, I love the photo before, of course, but adding those little pieces of uh, lighting accents really sets it off. And it, it represents it the way it should be represented uh, because Raul put so much work into that armor and I wanted to make sure and pay tribute to that armor set and give it the lighting it deserved. So, but anyway, do you think I'm doing it wrong? Do you do it a better way? You had a comment, have you, this is the first time you've ever seen this, or did this video just save your day and now you can go put lightsabers with all of your photos? Because it's the same technique. All you're gonna do is just draw a white bar, a white line on top of the lightsaber that's in the photo and you're gonna make your seven layers and there you go. Same, same steps if you follow that same process with just a single white line instead of having to trace something out but I guess technically you could use a pen tool and trace out the lightsaber. Uh, but it'd probably be just easier to make a white line. <laughs> anyway, I'm Jeff Jenkins from Jeff Jenkins Photography. And uh, if this is your first time checking me out, drop a comment. Let me know where you're from. Appreciate it. And uh, just like always, I'll see you out there.